quick revision video on combustion analysis. So what I'm going to do with this one is just go straight into a question. So if you want to have a look at that, pause the video and then play on for the answer. So the first thing I've done is come up with a kind of an equation for the reaction that's taking place when compound N is completely combusted. So it will react with excess oxygen and form X moles of CO2. So X is obviously the number of carbons in the molecule and it will form Y over 2 moles of H2O. So the hydrogens in the additive will make half as many moles of water because you've got H2O. So the next thing I've done is calculated some moles values. So the moles of N is mass over MR. So that's 0 0.0225. The moles of CO2 produced, mass over MR again, 0 0.0675. And same again, so 0 0.09 moles of water. So I've ratioed them now by dividing them all by the smallest. So we get a 1 to 3 to 4 ratio. So from that, we can say that the X and Y must be 3 and 8. So one mole of this has produced three times as many moles of CO2, so it must have three carbons in. One mole of this has produced four times as many moles of water, so the number of hydrogens must be double that, so eight. We still don't know what um, the Z is for O, so at the moment that's what we know. So if we bring in the MR of N now, 76, subtract the three carbons and eight hydrogens, so that's 44 we're going to take off, and that leaves 32 for the OZ part, so therefore Z must be 2. So N has the molecular formula C3H8O2. And then from that we've got to come up with a possible structure for the additive, so I've come up with that. You could also obviously have the 1,1 one, one isomer or the 1,3 or the 2,2. Two, two. So in other words, the OH groups here or here or here. And another one you could have gone for, I don't think I would have gone for this one, is something like that. With it having two oxygens, you might have thought it was a carboxylic acid, but the only carboxylic acid it could be with three carbons is that one. And you can see there's not enough hydrogens in propanoic acid. So it can't be that. So we'll look at one more, this time a multiple choice question. So again, if you want to have a go at that, pause the video and then play on when you're ready. So for this one, all we're really interested in is the ratio between carbon and hydrogen. So we've got that information on the volume of carbon dioxide and water vapor produced. So I'm representing the uh, molecule like this, CXHY, not interested in the oxygen and nitrogen, it's not going to help us with the answer. So when this completely combusts, the carbons become CO2 and the hydrogens become H2O gas. So we've got the same volumes of CO2 and water produced, so that means the same moles are produced. If you want to, you could just treat the um, conditions to be RTP, room temperature and pressure, so the moles of each gas would be 40 over 24,000, the molar gas volume in cm cubed. So they're both given that many moles. So what we can say now is that the x and y over 2 must be the same. So therefore, y must be 2x. So you can now see that the y value is going to be 2 times greater than the x value, and so it has to be c.